I'm really in a, in a position now where I'm really grateful. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a celebrity who's found success in more than one line of work over the years. Through hard work and dedication, The Rock went from being pretty much homeless as a teen to owning multi-million dollar properties all across the country. Between his real estate in Florida over the years like his Miami mansion to the multi-million dollar French country manor he recently purchased in Georgia, The Rock has collected quite the list of luxury homes. If you've ever wanted to know what his places look like, we'll be showing you them in this video. Dwayne Johnson, better known as The Rock, has built a pretty impressive resume. He's a famous actor, retired professional wrestler of course, and more. In 2012, Dwayne founded his own production company called Seven Bucks Production, which has went on to produce a bunch of movies. At the time of this recording, he's 47 years old and let's not forget, family man and father of three. We first got familiar with The Rock through the WWE, where The Rock was his stage name. It doesn't matter! He's considered one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time and won a ton of championships throughout his career. Since he officially retired in 2019, he focuses most of his energy on acting these days. The Rock has starred in countless successful films, including the Fast and the Furious movies and the Jumanji franchise. His films have grossed over 10.5 billion worldwide and 3.5 billion in the US alone, so it's no wonder Dwayne is one of the most successful box office actors of all time and ranked in the world's highest paid actors year after year. Not to mention, he also made the list of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people in the world more than once and has his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The Rock went from having no money in his pocket to holding an estimated net worth of around 220 million according to Forbes. With that kind of money, he's been able to live in more than one luxurious house, that's for sure. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at Dwayne The Rock Johnson's impressive real estate, including his $9.5 million mansion in Georgia, Miami estate, and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Will Smith and Johnny Depp, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys and getting to know you. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First off, Dwayne spent a lot of his childhood bouncing from home to home. He was born in California but lived in New Zealand with his mom's family as well for a bit. Once he returned to the states, he lived in multiple states from North Carolina to Tennessee, even Hawaii. Before The Rock came to know the crazy success he does today, he lived a not so lavish lifestyle. His family hit rock bottom at one point and he explained, We were living in an efficiency that cost 120 a week. We come home and there's a padlock on the door and an eviction notice. My mom starts bawling. She just started crying and breaking down. Where are we going to live? What are we going to do? His story is interesting to say the least, but his success is a result of old fashioned hard work and just not giving up. I know we're focusing on his real estate today, but it's good to get an idea of how far the stars really come since. That being said, now we can look at where The Rock's $220 million net worth has afforded him to live. Of course, in usual celebrity fashion, he used to own a home in Hidden Hills, California, but sold it back in 2012 for 4.9 mil. Dwayne's Hidden Hills mansion was 9,000 and 120 square feet of living space with seven beds and more than six baths. Once he divorced his ex-wife Danny Garcia, she was living here until it went on the market. This home was two stories designed in a Mediterranean style and had gorgeous views of the hills. The features inside the Hidden Hills mansion included a glass-walled living room, four walk-in closets, and probably the coolest room, which was a state-of-the-art home theater, complete with a lobby, bar, and movie marquee entrance. Outside in the garden, there was a large infinity pool. Despite the great location of this mansion, it seems that The Rock moved on from LA after selling this place, as is the last known house he owned in the area. So if Dwayne wasn't into the Hollywood lifestyle, where would he rather live? Well, it seems The Rock is fond of Florida and has a gorgeous mansion right in Miami. Most of Florida is really spread out, but Miami is the definite center of South Florida. Here, The Rock is right in the center of the action, as well as all of the sunshine and palm trees. The Rock's Miami mega mansion set him back 3.4 million, and it spans 
10,000 square feet. There are six beds, seven baths, and the grounds of the home cover nearly an acre of land. Inside, the decker looks fit for a king. There are grand rooms with high ceilings and plenty of dark wood and marble floors. The house has a classic and royal vibe throughout with pillars, chandeliers, and other fancy add-ons all over. Some rooms in his Miami mansion include a large officer's study, a dining room, a full bar, and personal movie theater. If that wasn't enough, The Rock spent an extra 300 k for a custom-designed home gym, which he named Iron Paradise. But we know the man loves to keep his famous physique, so he deserved it. Outside, the home is fully gated and secure with a grassy yard surrounding it, palm trees, and of course a gorgeous swimming pool out back. Reports posted after The Rock was living at this Miami mansion also mentioned the star buying some more Florida real estates. In the past, he got rid of a handful, of which included a condo and another mansion. In 2014, sources say Dwayne had signed a contract to buy an even bigger $4.5 million mansion just west of Fort Lauderdale. If they were correct, this home was a huge 13,700 square feet with five bedrooms and a six car garage for all his toys. Not to mention it had more land than the last place, spanning two 2.5 acres. Either way, it's clear that The Rock is drawn to Florida and seems to always own at least one residence here, if not more. However, in 2018, The Rock had a change of scenery while filming Hobbs and Shaw in the UK. Of course, the man needed a nice place to live since they were filming for a year, and he rented out this mansion in Richmond, Southwest London. Back in 2012, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie stayed here too. This royal house had a total of five living rooms as well as nine bedrooms. There were also fully separate staff quarters, so just by the sound of of all that, you know the place was huge. Other features of Dwayne's London house included a full home movie theater, two swimming pools, one inside and one outside, and a tennis court. There was already a fitness center or gym inside this palace, but just for The Rock, it didn't cut it. I told you about Iron Paradise, his state-of-the-art gym. Well, The Rock actually hauls this gym around with him wherever he's living, and his year in London was no different. Iron Paradise contains 40,000 pounds of equipment and a full kitchen, but Dwayne managed to find a home for it. He made a pop-up iron paradise on the three acres of land that came with this palace. No problem. Finally, let's look at The Rock's most recent purchase, his French country manor in Powder Springs, Georgia. Dwayne has grown up in many states like we know, and he also has ties to Atlanta. Powder Springs is a historic city in Cobb County, Georgia. It looks like a cute family-friendly town to me. He bought this home as a private getaway for him and his fam and spent almost 9.5 mil on the estate. The mansion sits on 46 acres of land, which has a riding arena and viewing deck. Perfect for Dwayne since he loves horseback riding. His Georgia Mega Mansion is 14,791 square feet with eight beautiful bedrooms. Although it's super spacious inside with plenty of high ceilings, the home's interior offers a lot of wood accents for a country-like and homey feel. You can notice that vibe in his giant kitchen as well as one of the living rooms with the wooden ceiling. Other features inside The Rock's new mansion include a multiple living spaces, a wine cellar, a classy library complete with a fireplace, and one of the many bathrooms even has a fireplace too. The master suite has its own seating area with French doors beside that that lead to an outdoor patio. Of course, the ensuite bathroom is spacious and beautiful with his and hers sinks and a massive tub positioned at the window. The other rooms are also impressive. One bedroom is even big enough to be a hotel suite with more than one room in it, and another one of the bathrooms has a giant tub and walk-in shower made for two. The Rock's Georgia property, which he allegedly paid for in cash, sits at the end of a winding driveway offering plenty of privacy. There's gorgeous landscaping and gardens all around, and a large stone archway acts as the entrance to the mansion. Other impressive features on the grounds of his home include a giant cabana with beam ceilings and an indoor-outdoor vibe. There aren't any windows and it's open air, but there are couches, a fireplace, and even a TV. There's also a beautiful pool and additional pool house, as well as a separate farmhouse with accommodations for caretakers and a 12 stall barn for horses. This Georgia getaway mansion sounds like it's perfect for The Rock and his family, not to mention a bunch of horses, which I'm sure he's happy about. What do you guys like best about this place? I love the vintage and cozy vibe they managed to keep, even though the house is so big. Even though we looked at a handful of The Rock's homes, that still doesn't cover all of it. He's said to own more properties in Florida and elsewhere, some he rents out, and others he keeps to enjoy himself. We know Dwayne has a farm in Virginia too, so clearly he loves spending time with his family in the country, and the horses. 
Of course, he has an iron paradise on that property too. The Rock has a net worth of over 200 million, so I'm not surprised he can pay for some of these mansions in cash. But his success is definitely a result of sheer talent and hard work, and personally, I think he deserves all of it. Looking at Dwayne's Miami Mega Mansion, some of his previous homes, and the Georgia countryside estate he purchased last year, which was your fave? I like his Georgia property the best, hands down. Okay guys, now it's that time again where I read out your comments from previous vids. On our recent Britney Spears house tour, Yehezkiel said, and excuse my pronunciation with the name, I'm probably wrong. I love everything about the presentation, so detailed and you guys got receipts. Also, I love how y'all are very respectful. Some people forget that that part is actually important. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much. Comments like these always make me happy because I try to always be aware of that and be kind whether they're celebs or not. Alwyn Ricketts commented on the same vid saying, Dope Cribs man, she got good taste. I totally agree. I've seen a lot of celeb homes making these videos so far and Britney's are some of my favorites. They keep getting better. And finally on our Nathan Schwant before and after, Shattered Soul said, Well done, love your voice, so not annoying like some YouTubers. New subby. Welcome new subscriber and I appreciate that. All right guys, that's all for Dwayne The Rock Johnson's properties that I could find. What were your thoughts on his mansions? I like the fact that he owns a couple of gorgeous farms and he has a place to get away from the crazy Hollywood lifestyle. I'm sure it benefits his family too. Not to mention his homes are impressive. I mean, who wouldn't love living on the Georgia estates? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye!